In this problem, we have to perform these divisions. So let's go ahead and work through it carefully. So the idea is to take each of these terms and divide it by the bottom piece. This is a really important strategy. So it'll be this piece here divided by the bottom. So 15x to the fourth over 5x squared. Then you put a minus sign, and then it's the next one. So 25 x cubed over 5x squared. Okay, very, very useful way to simplify. Now, 15 over 5 is 3. And here we have x to the fourth over x squared. So you have four x's up top and two on the bottom. So two of them are going to cancel. So you're going to be left with two of them. So x squared. And then here, 25 over 5 is 5. And again, you have x squared on the bottom, x cubed up top. So you'll lose two copies of x up top, so you're left with just one x. And that would be the final answer. Same thing over here. We're just going to break it up like we did before. So it's this piece here, so negative 48, x to the 8, over negative 8x to the 4. And then minus 72, x to the 6, over negative 8x to the 4. Really powerful strategy. Most people don't think about it this way, I think, because normally when you add numbers, you, you do stuff like, you know, one-third plus five-thirds, and you write this as six over three. Rarely do you do one plus five over three, and then you break it up, one over three plus five over three. That's what we're doing here, right? We're, we're going backwards. It's a little bit different. 48 over 8 is 6, right? They're both negative, so we're going to get a positive. And then x to the 8 over x to the 4, well, we're losing four copies of x. So there's eight of them up top, so we're left with 4, because 8 minus 4 is 4. This is going to be plus, because they're both negative. 8 goes into 72 nine times. And we have six copies of x up top and four on the bottom. So we'll lose four copies, so we're left with x squared. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.